Alrighty, let's go back here. Blade is in full. I don't know why it makes sense. Ooh, new ending here. Ooh, cut. Cool. Alright, so my impression was this still feels like a big pull down. It's almost like you want to go here and then almost get a little bit of a hole, not a hole, but slow down so they can go really shoot up here and then hold this a bit longer. Watch out if you would space this out, it'd be very tricky in spline because you're hitting this from here to here, such a wall. So you want to go and ease into this a bit more once you spline this. It's a hold and then that way the timing is a bit more consistent so it's not so it's a bit more naturalistic in terms of weight and spacing and then suddenly you get into this. So I think if you have a bit of a slow down, hold, it would work. And then here, same thing here, careful that you are, when you go up, it feels a bit like we shoot up, but it's, it's a massive move from here to here and a bit less here, but then here we go just straight forward. You might have to go, once you spline this, a bit higher, just kind of like shooting up in a slight jump then into this. And I think it would work because then she compresses a bit. This still has a bit of a feel of repetitiveness where it's kind of like, okay, run, 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 run. But she gets on something higher. So it might be, what is she doing here? She does this and then that. And if you're doing something parkour, well, she's doing it a one arm. I was going to suggest a rail in this, but could it be... What could you do here? Just something so it doesn't feel like just a, a slightly bigger step onto this. And you have separate parts there. I was thinking, you know, does she have to go on something? There's only like a, a, a chasm, like this. There's a drop in here. Then you got those poles sticking out. So you just go one, two, three onto this. Maybe just something interesting here there I say just that section because then we have a jump I mean fappy brutal I would say after this into that this is the down as patient for it the jump that happens here so she goes from and jump onto that and cut this whole section out because again my main concern is repetitiveness this is cool concern that I have here is that this is light and she's heavy and for her to jump into this it feels like yeah she's gonna this is gonna buckle unless these are you know these are rods just gonna buckle this and it's gonna go into this but I don't buy that this is so heavy that it would actually drag her up there and if it would of some speed or force then she would be dragging full body she goes this way well her momentum is this way and this thing's going this way so on that frame she would be like that and then she would go up into this that's cool I like that it's from this angle i would just take this hole and make it bigger so we don't have the darkness here obscuring the the silhouette there all that so she's kind of clean and then to that that's cool so my main concern about repetitiveness is that she's doing a jump where she flips like this and then here she does kind of the same thing i know she's straight here and she's more tucked in plus that's top view and it's not top view but it goes back into it's just a variation of what we've seen here so if, is there anything that we could do here? It's a royal we that would change that ending. That's kind of that's kind of that. So question is then? I mean, my question is then: How far? If I'd be brutal with an edit, it would be she gets down, jumps up. You know, so up here, compress, big jump, cuts, 76, 
to the counter three. The jump goes straight into this. Like I said, you have to rework the camera, obviously. Into that. Watch out the mechanics of this. Not quite buying what I said just before on this. But then she does this. That's cool. Like, I really like this. This is really cool. But the cut helps change it up a little bit. Anyway, then you could have, like, uh, since we're in this view, this is, don't do this. I'm just, I'm thinking out loud. If this is wider and you got some blue color, as she does this here, you got, you know, whatever animal monster can come out towards camera and <coughs> almost snap her. So, like, this would almost be like an overall, she jumps over this and maybe you know, this fire. But I mean, imagine it's like some really dangerous exercise parkour, something training ground to give it also some extra panache. So, even through here, like as she lands, beep beep, maybe there's like some lights turn on and you got those, that floor suddenly gets cut into into cubes and then they, they start to go boom, they go down and the sheep has to run and jump because the floor is breaking, you know, something like that and then stuff could happen, spikes could come out, like give it some danger or something, I don't know, sounds silly, <laughs> that would be kind of cool, this is, you know, just because it goes come towards us. Or we make it silly and have a bunch of tiny little fish swarm in here and jump up into that. That's cool. And then for the ending, it could almost be like, why are we going to a wide view? Yes, we can see both. Cool. And then you have to kind of tilt up a little bit to reframe. But why are we through there? Maybe something really ridiculously presentational. So imagine we would tilt up. And she will go through like a ring of fire. <laughs> that is ridiculous. But you know, like why not? Like go big or go home. And it's well, I'm trying to uh, to turn off my my drawing tool. Can't. Okay, finally, right, what happens? So anything massively ridiculous, she goes through that ring and. Dolphins jump in unison here to celebrate. She goes down and then things pop up here. Pff, confetti and, and uh, you know, fireworks. <laughs> I don't know. It's ridiculous. But maybe that could be also the fun of it. Like you're having like, ridiculous elements where uh, things shoot at her. Creatures try to snap at her. And I, I'm really talking like silly stuff. Even, even if it's like they're all robots. Like something silly and simple to animate. But something where it just... It's not just about this, but also the fun of, oh, okay, she's running away from crazy contraptions, and then they get crazier and crazier. Even this jump could be, again, something that she has to go through or evade, and it just gets crazier and crazier. Again, a big fish <clears throat> that tries to snap at her, or the opposite, lots of little piranhas that jump up, try to get, in, get her, like, oh my god, and you're going, what else is going to happen? This is getting crazier and crazier, and this is her big finale. Ba, 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 into this and you you know make a big spectacle fire or something i mean that could also be fun like to me this would be fun just because you would then animate a bunch of stuff that's either like little creatures or mechanical things robots i don't know like this just sounds like fun to me but also crazy idea so i'm gonna leave it at that uh yeah the main thing is just sometimes timing in here or spacing in there once you would spline this and the, and the physics and mechanics of this in terms of like practical things that I would address moving forward, even if you don't do any of this. Um, and that's kind of that. All right. Thanks. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.